20 men style trends women hate. Warning, your personal style could be killing your love life. Here's a wake up call, your wardrobe choices could be putting a damper on your dating game. It's no secret that women appreciate a man who takes care of himself and dresses to impress. But don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, we're gonna talk about ways you can step up your fashion game and attract the attention you deserve without sacrificing your personal comfort and individual style. So buckle up and get ready to take some notes because these tips are worth a fortune. Trust me, you won't regret it. 1. Ripped jeans If you're still clinging to the trend of ripped jeans in 2023, it's time to let it go. Let's face it, intentionally distressed denim is out and it's not doing you any favors. Instead of looking like a stylish and put-together gentleman, you might end up giving off more of a starving artist vibe. Trust me, a woman won't be impressed by your pre-ripped holes and tears. It's time to upgrade to a well-fitting, dark wash pair of jeans. Don't miss out on potential dates because of your sloppy attire. Say goodbye to the hobo chic look and hello to a more polished and attractive style. Otherwise, it may result in a woman giving you her spare change rather than her phone number. 2. Speaking about clothes with holes in them, it's time for a reality check. If you're someone who thinks it's okay to wear Crocs in public, then we need to have a serious talk about your fashion choices. We all know that Crocs seemed like a funny joke at first, but let's be real, the novelty has worn off. In 2023, it's time to say goodbye to plastic shoes with holes and opt for something more stylish. No self-respecting men should be caught wearing them in public. But don't worry, there are plenty of comfortable options out there that won't make you look like a walking fashion disaster. It's time to step up your shoe game and choose something that's both comfortable and visually appealing. So say farewell to the Crocs and hello to a better and more stylish shoe. Trust me, you won't regret it. 3. Men's Jewelry While a nice minimal cuff or slim chain can add a stylish touch to your look, it's important to remember that less is more. Wearing too much jewelry can actually overload your style and give off the impression that you're trying too hard. Trust me, you don't want to be known as the guy who wears too much bling. The days of Mr. T being a style icon are long gone. In 2023, it's all about simplicity and subtlety. So ditch the excessive jewelry and embrace a more understated look. Remember, it's not always about quantity. Quality and restraint can make a bigger impact. 4. Cutting your own hair Hey, wake up, it's 2023, I have a question for you. Why are so many of you still rocking the mullet? It's time to ditch that lazy, low-rent hairstyle once and for all. Sure, maybe one man in a thousand can actually pull it off, but let's be real, that's a stretch. You might think it's business in the front and party in the back, but trust me when I say that it's a party no woman wants to attend. It's time to level up your hairstyle game and choose something that's both modern and attractive. So head to the barber shop and get a fresh cut that's both stylish and appropriate for the times. Trust me, you'll thank me later. 5. Socks and slides If there's one style move that screams unwashed college student, it's pairing dirty white socks with those Nike or Adidas slides. It's a low-rent look that's just not doing you any favors. So if you're still standing by this trend, it's time to let it go. Do yourself a favor and donate those slides and socks to the nearest garbage can. Trust me, your feet and your style game will thank you for it. It's 2023, let's leave this trend in the past where it belongs. 5. Smart watches Sure, they might be a bit too smart for their own good. I mean, don't get me wrong, I understand their functionality and all, but when it comes to men's accessories, there's just no better option than a classic wristwatch. Maybe wear a smartwatch to the gym or on a run, but for your everyday outfits, please guys, just know. Don't you have enough screens in your life already? Do you really need to add another one to your wrist? Trust me, you're not fooling anyone. You just end up looking like a cheap James Bond knockoff from Wish.com. And let's be real, the real 007 wore Omega Seamasters. So let's ditch the smartwatches and go for a classic timepiece, shall we? 6. Puffy Vest Staying warm during winter is essential, but let's not make the mistake of reaching for a puffy vest to do so. Why do some men insist on wearing these outerwear monstrosities? It's as if they want their torso to look like a giant marshmallow while their arms remain thin and lanky. 
I mean, let's be real here. When you're wearing a puffy vest, you're basically dressed like a dog's hunt. So if you don't want to look like a sausage dog, let's leave the puffy vest behind and opt for something a little more flattering, shall we? 7. Let's talk about a menswear trend that's been very popular last few years, but frankly, it's time to let it go. I'm talking about workwear, you know, the Timberland boots, the Dickies overalls, the Carhartt everything. Sure, it might have looked cool on Tupac back in the 90s, but nowadays it seems to be worn only by hipsters, influencers and people who wouldn't know which end of a hammer to hold. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate a good chore jacket, but this hyper-masculine workwear look is just not appealing anymore. Something more gender neutral instead will look amazing any day of the week. 8. Skinny jeans Let me tell you the truth, there's nothing attractive to women about seeing a guy wear clothes that are clearly not made for him. I mean, let's face it, the oversized look might have been cool back when the strokes were still a thing, but now it's just plain outdated. And if you're still trying to pull off those bootcut or flare jeans, I'm sorry to say that you're just not doing yourself any favors. Those styles are so 2005 and they're not doing your physique any justice either. If you want to look your best, go for a pair of slim feet jeans if you're on the slimmer side or straight leg if you're a bigger guy. It's time to embrace a more modern look. 9. Speaking of denim, it's time to ditch the denim disaster called jorts. I mean seriously, these shorts are like a sartorial joke that only Tobias from Arrested Development could pull off. But fear not, there's a solution. Opt for some flat front cotton shorts instead. Trust me, you look a million times better and won't be mistaken for a denim wearing dad on vacation. 10. Let's talk about shorts a bit more, okay? Because I have a bone to pick with guys who insist on wearing board shorts, basketball shorts or swim trunks as casual wear. I mean, come on people, can we not tell the difference between beach wear and actual clothing? It's time to ditch these inappropriate and unflattering shorts and opt for a pair of tailored or flat front shorts instead. Trust me, you look much more put together and stylish. 11. When it comes to women's pet peeves for men's fashion, we can't leave out the infamous flip-flops. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some situations where they're acceptable, like at the beach or by the pool. But in public spaces? No thank you. Let's keep those toes covered and leave a little something to the imagination. Flip-flops should be reserved for water-related activities only. 12. Sports sunglasses it's best to save them for athletic activities only. Don't get me wrong, a great pair of shades can add a lot of style to an outfit, but wearing sports sunglasses anywhere other than the court or the track just screams uncool. I can't recall ever hearing a woman say, wow, he looks amazing in those Oakleys. It's just not a look that works. 13. Crew neck t-shirts with logos on them. Let me tell you, crew neck t-shirts are a classic and must-have item in every man's wardrobe. However, it's becoming tiresome seeing guys sporting tees with massive eye-catching logos or slogans. I mean seriously, graphic tees are something women would tolerate if you're in your early 20s, but once you've outgrown that phase, it's time to ditch the need to flaunt designer labels or your favorite band on your shirt. We get it, you have good taste, but no need to broadcast it to the world through your clothing. 14. Long t-shirts Let me test your knowledge on a crucial men's fashion rule. Where should your t-shirt end? If you said anything other than at your waistline, then you might want to reconsider your style. Those excessively long tees that go down to your knees throw off your proportions and make it seem like you're wearing the wrong size. Instead, opt for a t-shirt that sits around your belt line and fits your body just right. Trust me, women love this look. 15. Cafe Racer Leather Jacket If you're not sure what I'm talking about, it's those outdated jackets with a tapped collar that have been lingering around for far too long. When it comes to leather jackets, I always suggest being careful with your choices, but these particular jackets are just unacceptable. Wearing them won't make you a bad boy, but rather a fashion victim. It's time to let go of these jackets and opt for something more timeless. 16. Oversized everything It's time to have a real talk about the oversized clothing trend. Don't get me wrong, there's a time and a place for it, but let's steer clear of pairing a baggy shirt with equally baggy pants. You don't want to look like you're wearing a parachute, do you? 
Instead, opt for one item with a relaxed fit and balance it out with more fitted pieces. That way, you'll keep your look fresh and balanced. 17. Plaid shirt tied around your waist. This fashion faux pas needs to be left behind in the past. Look, women may appreciate the 90s revival as much as anyone, but this grunge-inspired trend needs to go. Tying a shirt around your waist is not only impractical, but it's also a major style misstep. Shirts are meant to be worn on your torso, not as a makeshift belt, so it's time to let go of this bad fad and move on to more stylish options. 18. Joggers tucked in white socks Guys who tuck their joggers into their socks are committing a major fashion crime. It's like they're trying to ruin the effortlessly cool look of joggers which are meant to be simple, stylish and streamlined. Tucking them into those unsightly socks is just lazy and ruins the entire vibe. It's like they don't care about looking good. So let's make it clear, no tucking white socks into your joggers. And it's not up for debate. 19. Speaking of socks, no white socks and dress shoes together, ever. Gentlemen, why would you do this? It's baffling how often men make this simple mistake that can easily be avoided. I don't know what makes them think that pairing dress shoes with athletic socks is a good idea. But let me set the record straight, it's not. There's a simple rule to follow and that is dress shoes should always be worn with dress socks, no exceptions. So let's leave the athletic socks for the gym and stick to proper attire when it comes to our footwear. 20. Running and hiking shoes as everyday wear No, 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 just don't. While athletic shoes have their practical uses for gym or outdoor activities, they should be avoided for everyday wear. Instead, opt for stylish sneakers, suede boots or even some dapper men's loafers to really elevate your casual look. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and make a statement with your footwear choice. This brings us to the end of today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to hit that bell button so you can get notified whenever there's a new video with tips on how to look suave.